one of the evenings when I was uh, listening to the radio, what I did every night, I heard this music. And back then, I always waited to the end, then I heard the presenter announce what it was, so I knew what, what was played on the radio. But with this music, it kept on for hours. It took four hours, four hours, and I fell asleep, so I didn't hear what the music was. But I was mesmerized. I heard this kind of music. It, it, it kept. It was this huge space that was created with this music. So simple. So in the middle of the piano, no, 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 no deep basses or high upper voices. No, nothing. Just very simple. And yet I could hear because I practiced a lot of two piano music at that time already. Um, I heard it was more than two pianos. At le it must it must have been at least uh, three pianos. And later on, I found out there were four pianos playing this this music, uh, <clears throat> and all mixed together uh, in one uh, a big stream of emotions. And uh, so I didn't know what it was, and um, I went to a conservatory. I did my studies. I pr practiced. Uh, um, well, seven to nine hours a day, did it seven days a week, and uh, passed my exam. Then at some point I heard on the radio a little snapshot of a composer. And right away I, I heard... <laughs> and I thought, what? This is this 5-8 this, this melody, it's in B flat minor. This is the piece I heard from my childhood and remembered right away the sound. And they said, it's Simeon ten Holt. From that time, I knew I knew I have to get in touch with this composer. And you know, being as a musician, you sometimes you hear music and you think, okay, this is, and you you really feel attached to this music. You, you think, okay, I want to dive into it, and I want to, you know, explore everything, all the music. I want to have it all. I want to play it all. I want to record it all. <clears throat> so that what happened with, with Simeon Den Holt. So I heard this music on I heard this on the radio, and uh, right away I I ordered the music. And I asked my brother Martin, with whom I played a, a, a piano duo, I played all the great duet stuff with Martin um, from, from uh, 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 Bartok Sonata for two pianos and percussion to Mozart Sonata uh, to really uh, Russian unknown music for two pianos. Uh, we, played, we did the whole scope, and, uh, including the piano, piano feast faced by Steve Reich. Um, but I, I, I showed him the music and he said, no, it's nothing for me. So, and I wanted to play this music, I wanted to study, but it said for keyboards, for keyboards. So I needed another one to play the piano. So I asked my wife and my teacher said, mm -mm, Jerome, never, Hoke de he said, you know, never go play with your wife because, you know, you end up in a divorce or whatever. Because you have, you know, you have, you have your fights at the piano because music is about, you know, it's about expressing, expressing yourself, feelings, and it will get a lot of tension in your relation. So don't never go, never go into a, in a relationship and make it, you know, go together on stage. So. Well, <clears throat> we did. Uh, so I asked Sandra, "Would you play?" And she, she said, "Yes, I love this music because apparently." This music was the music what bound us together. When Sandra and I first met, we were improvising at the piano. We were like... Just enjoying G minor. Let it ring. And then from let it ring, we started com making combinations. our teachers didn't like this and eventually something like this could evolve from it and we could spend the whole evening playing like this together Sandra and I improvising just Pure better sound, no music, no nothing, just 
the music was over here and between us and we we, we sit uh, beside from each other just looking very intense into the eyes and listening to the, what the other one meant what what direction do you want to go to improvising on a spirit, spiritual level I would say mm -hmm. the same kind of energy has to come to Ostinato because the piece that I heard on the radio was Canto Ostinato by Simeon Ten Holt. And when we started practicing it, we took, it took a year before we, we learned the whole piece, all the sections. Um, I, I, uh, we, we really learned the whole piece uh, section by section with all the variations, because there are many variations possible. Um, and then we made a CD and we sent it to Simeon Ten Holt. So we asked someone we, for, the, for the address and uh, he listened to the CD and he was very enthusiastic and he invited us right away to his home. That's how I came in contact with Simeon Ten Holt. Hmm. We went over there, listened to uh, uh, some other music, we had many conversations, I visited him, I visited him in the first year only four times a year, the second year already I, th I, I told him, Simeon, your music is, has something special. And I will tell later, little, later a little bit more about his music to go into detail. But his music was so special, I said, more people should be aware of this kind of music. Um, and I proposed to found a foundation for him, for his music. To put it all together, to make a website, and uh, to do some extra work to promote his music around the world. And that's basically what we did. And then we started seeing each other more often. Hmm. And uh, uh, we had more discussions uh, about music, about art, about, uh, but also about our personal interest. Because he was very interested, he has never been, for instance, he's never been outside his house the last, for the last 15 years. He has never come to this place, to my place, or anybody else. He didn't go to any concert hall, he didn't go to the radio. It was only they came to him, to his place. So he lived like, he lived in a very tiny house in Bergen, almost his whole life. Well, actually, in the, uh, in the beginning, he lived in a bunker, a second world war bunker, with no door, no windows, in the winter, and only a, 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 a little fireplace kept it warm. He had a piano over there, and that's, he composed, and he composed, well, very extreme music. He went into serialism, serialism. Uh, as a music form, he studied sonology. So how does sa sound behave? He experimented with the first synthesizers. He has one of the first synthesizers. Uh, how you can, where you can really patch the sounds and make your own sounds and you know little adjustments with the well, you know. Yes, I've used one. You, you, I think you've used one. Yeah. <clears throat> he made his music. With, with this equipment, that was his kind of music, where, where he tried to manipulate, manipulate, uh, manipulate the sound, uh, how he could change the, the behavior of sound. And all these things you find back in his works, uh, because he came to a point where he said, okay, this is, this is, I, I'm, I'm lying for my audience, and I want to make I want to I want to make real music from the heart. So he sat down at the piano, and he felt his fingers, and he and the fingers came down to the keys, and they they came to the keys where his where his love for piano playing started with, namely the music by Chopin.
combine those two together. You skip one note, you have a 5 8. <laughs> Made a kind of space in which you can, at the time when you are playing, you are adjusting. Every time you you balance, you change the accent where you you put the emphasis. For instance. He just sat down at the piano and let his fingers flow and he had the whole thing in his mind when he sat down and he just played the whole thing. Basically there is a recording. We still have a recording of Simeon playing that for himself the first time. He played the whole thing and then he wrote it down. It took him three years to write everything down. To write everything down. He uh, first wrote the bass line, the, the melody, the, the basic line, uh, which which is the one I really can play on my own. Someone behind you. What does a human being if he hears if he hears the same rhythm, he starts speeding up. And that's the the, the big challenge of playing the music by any minimalist or 
the, in, in this case the Canto Ostinato by Simeon and Holt, never speed up. Always keep the tempo as, as stir as possible, St a strict uh, a, a tempo. Hmm. Um, so that's that's basically how how how, I, how Simeon and Holt came in into my life. You know, by hearing on on the radio, uh, getting to play the music, uh, learning the, the music, and then sending him a recording and starting a foundation and starting to promote him. And that's a uh, uh, in a nutshell. Is that that's my life uh, with uh, with uh, Simeon? Thank you.